Welcome everybody. Have you ever found a really cute pattern and you thought that would be so cool on my pottery? So you print off something cute from the web, internet, wherever you want to get it, and then you're thinking, now how do I get this onto my bisque? What you're going to do is you're going to purchase Mako's clay carbon transfer paper. That is AC230 transfer paper. It comes in a packet of 12, so you have quite a bit of paper that you can use over and over and over again. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it out of your little packet, and only one side of the paper transfers. So you're going to do a little test before you actually start tracing everything. See, looks the same, no different. So what we're going to do is I'm going to trace this cute little koala on my bisque tile. But I'm going to test it first. I'm going to lay this on here and I'm going to take a pin because it gives me a little bit sharper surface. I could use a pencil, but I like using a pin. And I'm just going to do a little line. And then I'm going to lift it up to see if it traced onto the line, which it did. It's a faint line right here. Okay. But if I did the other side, did the same thing, nothing. Okay. So now I know this side is up. I'm going to write up on here just so I don't have to do this again. And now I can trace on my image. I'm going to lay the clay carbon paper onto my bisque with the side up that I know is going to trace. Line up or situate my pattern however I want it onto my bisque tile. And then I'm just going to press. I do like using a colored marker, especially if I'm going to trace this on several times because that way I can see where I've already drawn. A lot of times I'll use a red pen so that it shows up. If I use black on a black line, then I don't always know where I've traced. So this is a cute, simple, not a lot of detail, but it gives me a design idea. So we're tracing on our design. I switched over to a pencil just to see if I have any kind of difference in the outline. I typically like a pen a little bit better just because it presses a little firmer. And like I said, the clay carbon paper comes in a packet of 12. So you can have this for quite some time depending on how much you trace on your patterns. And also, this isn't a one and done because you're only using one small area of the paper. So you can continue using this over and over until you just get no line at all. Now a couple of little tips and tricks on this. I'm pressing this directly onto the bisque and it shows a little bit better straight on bisque. However, you can take this and apply it over glaze. That's why I have the stroke and coat out here. So if I had base coated the tile with stroke and coat or foundations, anything smooth, if you use jungle gems, it's going to be almost impossible to trace on your pattern because of all the crystals in there and it's not going to lay down. <clears throat> so a smooth base you can typically trace over, like I, like I said, on stroke and coat or foundations. The key is it has to be dry. So you're going to base coat and let it completely dry before you start tracing. If you uh, try to trace on damp glaze, it can sometimes pull up the glaze and you'll see it on the back of your clay carbon paper, or it just won't show at all because it's damp. Also, if you paint this entire tile black, and then try to trace over it. You have a dark line going on a dark color. It can be difficult to see. So there's some tips and tricks on that as well. All right, I've got my little koala on here. Oops, you can see I moved it. But you can see a faint line. There's a couple of things you can do, especially if I was tracing over a dark color. What I could do if I wanted to make this a little bit more visible is I could just lightly take my pencil and sketch over it. A water-based marker is really good to use also because the water-based cheap markers from the dollar store or whatever is going to burn off. So now I have my little design on here and you can go forth and glaze to your heart's content with any colors that you want to use of Mako's, whether it's stroke and coat, foundations. You know, I could put crystal glazes over this design now. It's just difficult to trace over the crystal glazes because of the bumpy, bumpy surface. So this gets this on here so you can see it good enough to do some cute design work. What do you think? You ready to go glaze? <laughs>